Hi, let's get to the fun stuff, the arithmetic series. Okay, so what am I talking about arithmetic series? Well, first of all, let's look at an example. And a typical example, maybe something like 3 plus, uh, well, let's say 9 plus 15 plus 21. This is a typical example of an arithmetic series. So first of all, what is a series? A series is when I add up the terms of a sequence and in this case I'm adding up the terms of an arithmetic sequence okay do you remember what that is an arithmetic sequence well the arithmetic sequence had the property that the terms this being term 1 that being term 2 this being term 3 okay the terms has uh, got constant differences so if I subtract 9 and 3 I get 6 Okay, if I subtract 15 and 9, I get 6. If I subtract 21 and 15, I get 6. So I see there's this constant difference between them. So the arithmetic series means I'm just adding up the terms of the arithmetic sequence. Okay, which means that my series, so the sum of the first n terms, s n. Okay, that's the sum of the first n terms. So let's say we have s4. S4 would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, these four terms, which is exactly that. And what is that? Uh, 9 and 3 is 12, and 15 is 27, and 21 is uh, 49. 49 would have been the sum of the first four terms. Okay, now Sn, we're going to just find a formula for Sn quickly. So Sn is the sum of these terms okay there we go all the way up to tn minus 1 and then the final one tn okay now let me just go and write this using the term value so for example term 1 we know is a okay and term 2 is a plus the difference okay so in other words 3 was the first term and here it's 3 plus 6 so 3 plus 6 that's the second term okay and then we'll have the third term is a plus the difference in other words a plus d plus another d so it's plus 2d okay plus and this goes on okay eventually here I get a plus now look here when I were when I were at term three, I added two d's. At term two, I added one d. At term one, I didn't add any d's. So when I'm at term n minus one, I will add one less n minus two d's. And at this last term, will just be a plus n minus one d. Okay, what am I doing? Well, you will see there's some method in the madness because look what happens now. If I take my first term and I add the last term, what do I get? A plus A gives me 2A plus N minus 1D. Okay, and now let's take this one plus that one. Okay, what do I get? Again, these two A's. So I get 2a plus, and then this is n minus 2d's plus another d. Okay, so it's not n minus 2 anymore, it's only n minus 1. n minus 1d. Okay, go and multiply this out and go and just confirm that that's what I get, um, or that's what you'll get. But believe me, it really is. Okay, that's definitely what you get when you add those terms. And Actually, if I take this term and the third last term, I'm also going to get that. So as I group them in groups of two, each time I get that answer. So I'm going to get 2a, so the sum is n, of 2a plus n minus 1d. How many times am I going to get that? Okay, because I just need to multiply with how many times I will get it. Well, I have n terms is n terms okay but I'm grouping them two by two so it's n divided by two okay. 
and there we go this is a formula for the sum of the first n terms okay another way of looking at it is just seeing well all I did was to take my first and my last number so a let's call the last term L a plus L and every time I get the same answer okay and how many times do I get that answer depends n divided by 2 so sometimes they give me the last term and the first term and the number of terms and I'll just be able to use this formula or that formula both of them comes down to exactly the same thing okay so let's say they gave me this specific question and they want me to do um, the sum of uh, the first hundred terms why not just make it crazy okay so the sum of the first hundred terms of the sequence okay and then I say well that's no problem because I have a formula okay so in my formula I'm going to use this formula okay, and usually you'll see it as SN is equal to n over 2 2 a plus n minus 1 D it's usually how they come on the formula sheets okay so n we have n is equal to 100 a we also have a is the first term which remember that was 3 and D we also have that's the constant difference constant difference being 6 so all I do is substitute 100 divided by 2 2 times 3 plus 100 minus 1 let's just do that 99 times 6 okay let's see what do we get 50 times 2 times 3 is 6 plus 100 times 6 is 594 okay so what do we get that's 600 550 times 600 and oh that's an easy one okay that's 30,000 cool I was able to add 100 terms in probably less than two minutes Okay, why? Because we have formulas and the formula didn't come from the formula sheet. We worked it out. We figured it out. So if you forget it in the exam, you can go and figure it out yourself. Okay, so um, let's leave it at that. We'll look at a few more examples or more complicated examples because obviously they're not going to make it this easy. See you later.